In your assessment, you might be asked to prepare the journal entries to correct an error. So we're just going to show you a technique to help you to do this. So we know that with our journal entries, we will need to have debits and credits. And the task in the assessment may ask you to correct the error that the bookkeeper made, or possibly what is the uh, correction, what should they have done, or a combination of these. So here's a, a typical example. A bookkeeper paid for electricity but recorded the entry only in the bank T account. So what we need to do is take a logical approach for this so that we can correctly identify uh, what the correction should be. And the way to think about this is on your scrap paper in the assessment, just prepare three columns. And in one column, you can write down the double entry for what they actually did, which is wrong, but we need to understand what they did in the first place before we can correct it. Then in the second column, what they should have done, what is the correct entry for this particular transaction. And then when we compare these two columns, we can work out what they should do to correct it. And depending on what the task in the assessment actually asks you, you might need to enter something for reversing the original mistake and then entering the correct entry, or do both of these together and show a journal entry for the overall correction. So let's have a look at this particular example where the bookkeeper paid for the electricity. So the information tells us they recorded the entry only in the bank T account. So if we paid for electricity, then we know that the bank is going to be reducing and that's going to be a credit. So the bookkeeper must have, well, we don't know what they did with the debit, but they must have credited the bank T account uh, with some number. Well, let's just suppose it's 100. And it tells us that they only made the entry in the bank T account, so nothing was done in the debit side. And so we can imagine, therefore, that in the trial balance, the trial balance didn't balance because there was a one sided entry, and therefore a suspense account would have been created to adjust for this. So what should they have done? Well, they should have debited the electricity expense with the 100 and credited the bank T account with 100. So to correct this, uh, they would have needed to just compare these two so we can see that the credit here is the same as the credit here, so that no adjustment is needed but we can see that the debit electricity expense just hasn't been done. So we need to do that. So debit the electricity expense. But we know that we can't have just a, a debit. We need to have a credit as well. So the credit would be to fix the suspense account. Or if the task in the assessment asks you to do this in two steps. So first of all, remove the error. So if we're going to the remove the error first of all, so we know they just credited bank. So we need to reverse that basically. So we need to debit bank with the 100. And again, we can't have a single entry. So we would credit suspense. And then the second step of the task would be to put in what they should have done, and that would be to debit the electricity expense and credit bank. So we can see whether it's going to be as a single journal or two journals, overall we can see that this is the same effect, that we have debit the expense and credit suspense. Here's another example. The bookkeeper is worried about non-payment of a customer's invoice and has credited the allowance for doubtful debt adjustment account and debited the allowance. So again, what we need to do is set up those three columns on our scrap paper and identify what did they actually do, 
what should they have done, and then when we compare the two, we'll be able to see what we need to do to fix it. So here are three columns. The first of all, then, what they did. So we're told that they credited the allowance for doubtful debt adjustment account and they debited the allowance. So we can just pop that into our scrap paper. So they debited the allowance for doubtful debts. Again, let's just say it's 100. And they credited the allowance for doubtful debt adjustment account with 100. So what should they have done? Well, in this case, if we're worried about the non-payment of the customer invoice, then we need to recognize an expense for this and we need to create an allowance. And the allowance should be a credit because it's going to be offset against the receivables balance, which is a debit. And because we're recognizing an expense, then the adjustment account needs to be a debit because expenses are debits. So what they should have done, they should have debited the allowance for doubtful debt adjustment account with the 100 and they should have credited the allowance itself with 100. So when we can compare the two, we can see we should have had a debit in the adjustment account, but actually we have a credit. So when we compare here, there's our debit, but we've actually put in a credit. So if we want to fix it, we need to debit the allowance for doubtful debt adjustment account. Remember, this needs to be the same as what they should be doing. But we need to have a debit of 100. At the moment, we've got a credit of 100. So if we want to fix it, we need to double it. Uh, we need to put 200 here. And then the credit would be to the allowance itself. Yeah, we need to create an allowance. This credit would be offset against the receivable debit. And again, this needs to be 200. There's no effect on suspense in this case because originally a double entry was performed. So everything balances. Now, if we want to do this in two stages, which is what the assessment may ask you to do, then the first step, we need to reverse the original incorrect entry. So here we debited the allowance and credited the adjustment. So to reverse that, we need to debit the adjustment account with 100 and credit the allowance with 100. And then the second step would be to do what they should have done in the first place. So again, we're going to debit the allowance for doubtful debts adjustment account with 100 and credit the allowance with 100. And again, you can see the combination of these two give us the overall adjustment. Here's another example, and hopefully you're getting the feel of the technique now. The bookkeeper was interrupted while processing a payment and debited the insurance expense account with 500 instead of the electricity expense account with 50. So you see the bookkeeper has debited the wrong account, but also by mistake seems to have typed in another zero at the end. Uh, the credit was entered correctly. So here are three headings again on our scrap paper. So uh, what did they do? Well, it tells us that they debited the insurance expense account. So we can debit insurance expense with 500 and um, they credited correctly. So they, they made a payment here. So they credited bank and they credited bank correctly with the 50. So what should they have done? Yeah, they should have debited the electricity expense account with 50 and credited bank with 50. So we can see as far as the credit is concerned, everything's been done properly. It's just the debit that is incorrect. So what do we need to do to fix this now? Can we just compare the two so we can see that the credit is correct and there's nothing that we need to do here, but we need to fix the debit. So let's put in what should have been done. So they should have debited the electricity expense with 50. Now we see that we've debited the insurance expense with 500. So we need to remove that, don't we? So we need to therefore credit the insurance expense with 500, 
but we see that our journal doesn't balance here so we're going to need to do something else to make this fix so we've got to have another 450 somewhere now if it doesn't balance which account is going to be affected by this well they must have fixed this by using the suspense account because remember the suspense account is just the sort of a temporary holding place for errors uh, until we can work out what we need to do to fix them and so there's the overall correcting journal entry now if we wanted to do this in two stages which the assessment may ask you to do so the first thing we need to do is just correct the original mistake so we can see the original mistake on the left of the screen now where we debited the insurance expense we just need to reverse that so we would credit bank with 50 debit oh this is the wrong way around to debit bank with 50 we'd need to credit the insurance expense with 500 but again we see this doesn't balance does it so we'd also need to debit the suspense account with 450 and then we should put in the correct entry and so now we can debit the electricity expense account with 50 and credit bank with 50. So there we have the two journals uh, which when we put together give us the same as our overall correction. So we've given, gone through three different examples now and hopefully you can see the technique. So you need to read the information very carefully, the information they've provided, and record what is it that they actually did, including the errors, and noting if it doesn't balance then there's going to be a suspense account involved. And then, by reading the text, understand what is it that they should have done if they made no mistake at all, and then you just need to compare the two to work out what you need to do to correct their entries.